it's your girl Julia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup and bath and body works haul because I know it's been a long time since I did a haul. It's been a long time since I posted a video. I know I keep saying, oh I promise I'll get back on it. Oh I promise I'll start making videos. Oh I promise I'll start posting my videos. But life happens. You get on the road with something then you stop and get on the road you get to stop. So I'm going to try to get back in the role of making YouTube videos again and posting them. Um, sometimes it's hard to find content but I like doing hauls. I bought some stuff, so let's get right into it. So first I'm gonna do my Bath and Body Works haul. So this is my spring collection, the Bahamas. Look at these, they're so cute. So I got the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. It smells exactly what it sounds like. This came out with the Waikiki Beach collection. It came out with the Tahiti Pink Lily and Bamboo, uh, the Bali uh, Coconut. But out of all of them, I already had Waikiki from last year, so I had to get this one. It smells amazing. And then today, they actually had 350 room sprays, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight room sprays. So I got Midnight Blue Citrus. Each room spray matches the candles that I have, FYI. Comfort. I was running so low on room sprays, that's why I really stocked up. Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. I got Rose Water Ivy. I got fresh cotton, which is probably going to go in my car because I don't have a candle to match that. I got mango Mai Tai. This smells amazing. And then Georgia Peach, which I already burned my candle for, but this smells really good. And I got watermelon lemonade. So six of them are going to be for the house, and then one is going to be for the car. Until I have to run out and buy more. And then I got the Flamingo Beach Candle. I also I already burned it. It smells so good. It smells like bubble gum. I already have, I already burnt it, but I also have the wildflowers and they're already in. That's why I burnt it and it's subtle, but you can smell that it's there. I really like it. The notes are pink summer berries, juicy orange, and dewy white petals. So it kind of combines my favorite things. Fruity and like a fresh florally smell. Like I don't like anything too like flowery, like gardenia or Japanese cherry blossom, but like something like sun washed petals or something like that, I can get behind. Okay. And so now to my makeup haul. This is a really short haul, y'all. This is probably the shortest haul I've ever done. Um, I got the Marvy Cornba Marvin Mac Mac Magnificent Magnificent. Did I just completely destroy that word? Yes, it's magnificent. Ah, it just fell out. But this is it. This is the back. It's a shame I already got makeup on the back. I cleaned it. Um, this is my BH Cosmetics. I had to get it because I love their, this looks so childish, but they have amazing eyeshadow palettes. Like their eyeshadow palettes, I would definitely recommend for dark skin girls that have a problem getting eyeshadow to show on them. Because I know for the longest time when I first started doing makeup, for the longest I could not find eyeshadow that would pop on my dark skin. But as you can see, I got some BH Cosmetics on right now. Actually, it is popping tea. It's popping. <laughs> it's popping. I actually have on... Um, the Galaxy Sheet by BH Cosmetics. So, um, let me show you which ones I actually have on. My two favorite ones. I actually have on this one. That's that dark. And then, like, on my lid, that bright, it's this. And it's amazing. The colors pop up so well. I have, like, three or four BH Cosmetics. And I will never stop buying BH Cosmetics. Like, look at just look at this and it's just super cute and it looks childish but it's super cute like what okay right. and then i got where is it oh, the um unicorn tears Too Faced. i don't know if you guys remember but i got the um oh i don't remember what it was called it was called ew mermaid something maybe it was mermaid tears maybe i don't know i got the mermaid something last time so that's basically just the matching set with it um what else what else did i get um i got this really the jar came with the beauty blenders in it and this is just so cute i just wish they had darker colored beauty blenders in here because you know the beauty blenders get dark dirty pretty fast but like i've worked with orange before and they look like little 
eggs for Easter. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So yeah, the jar came with the beauty blender. So this is like 16 bucks. And I just had to get it because I need some more. First of all, I need more beauty blenders. You can never have too many beauty blenders. And I need somewhere to store all of my beauty blenders. So now when I'm done, I think I have like five beauty blenders left. I'm gonna put them all in here. Um, and then I got this at Target actually. I would, I'm not gonna open it yet. No, I'll open it, why not? We can just make this an unboxing too. <laughs> um, basically what this is is activated charcoal toothpaste. And it says it has um, fresh mint and coconut oil. Everyone compliments me on my teeth. And I really just use Colgate. They see, I feel like they have like a tint of yellow. Like they could be whiter. They're pretty straight. Just bless with that. Oh, it has a thingy. They're pretty straight, but they could be whiter. I don't go to the dentist a lot because your girl ain't got insurance. Sorry. So thank God I was blessed with straight teeth. Cause, eh. But yeah, I use Colgate. I use Colgate and my boyfriend says I brush like really vigorously, but that's not like intentional. I just really like to have like fresh mouth. So this is it anyways while I'm talking. And it says, let's see, you apply your favorite bristle and brush like a boss. Look in the mirror, dig your black teeth and take a selfie. For your information, black paste may be messy, so please spit responsibly, smile often. Hmm. So I can't wait to use this. I might do a video of me using this, so that would be fun. And this is what it looks like. Take off. That's it. It smells like regular toothpaste. Would it be weird if I tasted it? I'm sure it tastes like regular toothpaste. But on there, it said it had no like, no added, no artificial sweeteners, no dyes, no SLS, which I don't know what that is, no sulfates, no brainer. So it only costs like five bucks too, which I don't know, it was five bucks. A lot for toothpaste and it doesn't even say it just says use regularly but like I should use it every day like toothpaste or what but if it's making my teeth white yeah they like really regular toothpaste if it's making my teeth white I'll consider probably buying it as my new toothpaste um and I also have to feel fresh there's one more thing that I got that I didn't even show you guys. There's two more things, actually, that I was actually pretty excited about. So, if you watched my last video, you know I went to New Orleans. Hello! And while in New Orleans, I always I always go into, like, Marshalls, TJ Maxx's, Ross, because they always have, like, high-end products for, like, 50% off or something. And I just happened to go into this. Um, I believe it was, it was in Marshalls. I went into this Marshalls and they had this. Do you know how long I am wanting to try this? And they only had it for $19.99. I remember when it first came out. Oh God, this video is going to 10 minutes. I'm so sorry, guys. It's almost over. I remember when this first came out though. I just really wanted it. And just like, I mean, I already used it, but like those I should just roll out. <laughs> Those colors though are just, ugh. The colors though are just so gorgeous. I'm gonna put it up before the whole fucking palette just falls out. Um, But yeah, so I got that for like 20 bucks in New Orleans. And they actually had a whole bunch. So I was able to pick through the ones that weren't broken. And when I went to Marshall's today to pick up the Too Faced and the BH Cosmetics, they had one, I didn't bother looking at it because I already have one. Um, but yeah, so I, I just felt really lucky, and then I found the Too Faced Peach, Peach My Cheeks blush. I um, haven't found a blush that just really makes my face look rosy to me. Like, I feel like this one is kind of working, but this is an old, like, beauty store. Like, this is, like, something my mom passed down to me, and it just always works. I just kept it. So, um, I've been using it, so hopefully that one, uh... Hopefully that one pops up. I got the darkest color. They had a whole bunch of these two different colors. They had the glow. Unfortunately, like some of them were, like you could tell that people were probably trying to test them out to see how it looked. Isn't that cute? And it matches right that on. So this one was not too bad. And I don't even remember if someone else did that or if I did that, but 
yeah, this is only $10.99. Only $10.99, right? But hey. Love it. Glad I got it. What do you do? And I don't know if I guys if I showed you guys this Too Faced palette that I also got. No. This one's a little bit more expensive. This one was actually 30 bucks compared to the Anastasia, which is crazy, but hey. It's a classic. And as long as it's not 40 bucks, I'm okay with that. I've always wanted to smell their products to see if it actually smells like the chocolate. Because on the website it says it does. It slightly smells like chocolate, but not really. So it's cool. Wish it did, but it doesn't. And I've been using this one actually quite a lot. So, that is the end of my haul. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to be trying to post more. Trying to get out there. And I'll just see you guys next time. Bye. I know I said bye, but I forgot to show you my new Gingham from Bath & Body Works perfume that we got for a good teas. Um, it comes out April 15th, like the whole collection. Haven't decided if I'm going to get it yet. Um, but I just found it when I was going through all my Bath & Body Works stuff and cleaning up my room after the last video. So now you guys see the new Gingham. It has like a fresh white hair, clean cotton smell. Um, smells good, but good enough for me to buy it. I don't know. We'll find out April 15th.